What's good, Ravens fam? So, Lamar's pressure, uh, presser. We got uh, J.K. Harb, sorry, Harb, boring. He was very short. Um, so let's just really just talk about it, okay? So, right off the bat, they continue just you know asking them all the same questions, the same questions. They even they even joke with him. He was in a good mood today. But, you know, like, just, they just kept asking the same dang thing. Different ways. But, what Lamar said, it's getting work. And he said, probably. He kept saying probably a lot. He's like, probably lead the deadline. No more. You know, and I was like, he said probably. You never know. Like I said, I believe his mom's going to be doing the negotiation. If he, if he don't sign it before... Sunday, I believe the mama's going to be doing the negotiation because obviously she knows what her boy wants. But yes, so that's interesting in itself. You know, then, uh, uh, you know, Clay, I'm just going, I ain't going in the order how they came on the presser now. So, hey, but, you know, Clay is Campbell. Um, he's going to be playing on that edge. Yeah. Ooh, it's gonna be nice. <laughs> Ravens could possibly, possibly. Let me say that real good, cause you know some people like uh like the family Ravens say, you know opinions these days. But anyway, um, yeah. So this possibly could be the best, one of the best defensive lines in the NFL. Then when Travis Jones come back, the second best defensive tackle in the uh, in the uh, in the in the draft, in my opinion. Mm. Mm. I know some people. Yeah, hey, it's my opinion. You see what I'm saying? So it's my opinion. Okay. Anyway, but uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. He's uh, it's gonna be special. I just. Uh, I'm, I'm gonna be rambling, y'all. Just uh, get your popcorn, because I'm about to be rambling. I just can't believe it's just so close. It's just like it's like it's right there. You know what I'm saying? Like today is Wednesday, September the seventh, and I'm like it's it's right. They left it like right there. You know what I'm saying? Whew. I don't even care for college football Saturday. I, I, my mind is all on Jets. Like, we finna see Lamar finally play. Talking about Lamar, he also said about J.K. Dobbins. They asked him about J.K. Dobbins. He said he looks good. He told him himself, hey, man, come down a little bit. You know what I'm saying? Like, you my dog. I need you. But, uh, yeah, he told him, like, you know, he said a couple of weeks. And everybody, just everything he said about J.K., it's just that little couple of weeks, couple weeks. That's all they. That's all they concentrate on. And I seen some people talking about that, and I was like, "Could he be playing? You know, mind games. You know, because nobody knows who's gonna be in the backfield right now. Hobbs is the only person to know that I believe, and maybe the team. But you just never." You never know. If we see him out there, sweet. If we don't, that's cool too. Because I know he's going to wreck havoc when he gets back. That's a fact. And then when Gus gets back, havoc again. So, I don't know. But yeah, yeah. Then, you know, Marlon Humphrey. They, they, they shout out to the Marlon. They, uh, he's, he's pretty excited to, uh, you know, go against Joe. My, my, Belief is, uh, yeah, he, Joe was going to throw some interceptions. He even brought up, you know, Marcus Peters wanted to come back with two interceptions in one game. And I predicted that. I predict Joe Flacco would throw two interceptions, possibly, to Marcus Peters. You know what I'm saying? On his comeback. But he said he looking good. He said, uh, Marlon said, my boy MP Juice, man. 
looking good right now. So that that was a plus in it itself. So I was happy to hear that. I still gotta get my Marcus Peters jersey. It's just so oof, so hard to get these jerseys. They're jerseys nowadays, mainly with the prices. But uh yeah, so I can't wait. I can't wait. Now I'm thinking about doing, you know, my prediction of the game. I don't know yet. I don't know yet. Y'all Yo, tell me what you what you think. I'm, uh, yeah, but so be on the lookout. Be on the lookout, cause I might change my mind. I might not. I don't know. Be on the lookout. That's why you gotta hit that that notification, cause I just pop out with a video out of nowhere. So, uh, but yeah, I like the depression. So y'all tell me what y'all thought about the pressure. But yeah, just just one more. Just that defensive. I just got to go back to it. That defensive line with the DBs we oh, Marcus Peters. Marlo, Cal Fuller, Cal Hamilton, Marcus Williams. You know Marcus Williams, Cal Hamilton. They, they cover a lot of ground. Whew, it's gonna be beautiful. We we finally get to see it. And then on top of that, you know Joe Flacco can sling that thing. So we get to see some ball hawking. Hopefully, we got two ball hawks in the backfield. Interception City with that defensive line, and I love what Mike been doing. I've been noticing a lot of players continually giving this man credit. I think Marlon even said if they have a play that everybody doesn't like, is not on the same page, he takes it out. And they will practice on it, you know, later on until everybody's on. That is awesome. That is like, that meaning they knowing everything. It shouldn't be no busted coverage because we know we had a lot of that. No more blitz in the cornerbacks. We, I know Marlon got to be liking that. I know he got to be liking that. He ain't going to be being blitzed no more. Always going to finally get the sign, do his shot. And I've seen, talking about always, and I've seen a uh, picture of him saying, you know, the, the shoulder sleeve thing is off. So, yeah. He's, he's 100%. I guess that's what he was saying. He's 100%. But, yeah, just, woof. I'm just so excited, y'all. Just, oof. Mm, yes, yes, Lord, yes. <laughs> ah, but, yeah, hit that like, hit that subscribe, hit the share. Everybody stay safe. God bless.